Hi everyone, I'm in Salzburg. During a Good Friday service, there wasn't much uh, we could do because there were COVID measures and we couldn't venerate the cross. And so they put the cross on the altar and they let us venerate it visually by looking at it. I think a part of me felt that there's nothing special about it. There's nothing special about the cross. And I mean just looking at it. And I was thinking, I'm supposed to be feeling emotional, love and sad, right? But I didn't feel that during Good Friday. I just felt the cross was an act of love but I didn't feel anything. I don't want to engineer sadness in my brain, right? A person loves to travel, go to crazy places like um, Madagascar, Egypt, Africa. Nobody would think of these kind of things. I know this friend when I was younger, his name is Julian. We would go to Mars together when we were younger in secondary school. And back then, we would, nag at, we would take turns to nag at each other for wearing short pants to Mars. And yeah, one day after Mars, me and Julian were having dinner at the food court and we were just talking and having... I remember clearly I was having noodles that day. I remember Julian was telling me that he wants to go to Mozambique to be a journalist, to journal, to jump around the wall streets and jump around the wall streets and take photos and record the lives of the people living there, the struggles, the pain, the hurt. And I was like, yes, exactly, brother. I love to travel like this. I love to travel to see all these crazy things. Not for the euphoria, but to experience what life is, to open up our life. My eyes, right? I was like, exactly, man. That's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. Here we are, six years later, living out our lives. Julian's gone to the Navy to be an officer. He's sailing now on ship and I'm in Salzburg. <laughs> Crazy. Why do I share all of these? And when I look at the cross, I felt nothing. And I couldn't relate to the cross. When I look back on my life, I realized that I could only relate to the cross and understand the cross if I united my suffering in my life with the cross. Yeah, unless I unite all that suffering, that hurt, that pain with the cross, only then I will be able to appreciate what the cross means to me. When I did that, I could see the depth of the pain, the hurt, the struggle, the sorrow that he burdened himself with to go through, to take away that sin for us. Those are the moments where I could say, Jesus, I feel you, brother. Jesus, I feel you. I know exactly how you feel. That's exactly how I feel. Just the same when me and Julian were talking and he said, yeah, I love travel. And we had, you know, if you're friends, you have that brain sync moment where you're like, yeah, dude, exactly. That's how I feel. Yeah, and when we unite our suffering with Jesus on the cross and we look at the cross, and Jesus says, exactly how I feel. I know exactly how you feel and I can relate. That's why I wasn't feeling anything because I just looked at the cross without my life being part of it. Yeah, I think priests always say, you, yeah, you have to, be, you have to carry your cross, be, part, be, be immerse yourself in Jesus' cross. But you know, what does that mean? Maybe this is what it means. At the foot of the cross, seeing Jesus go through all that pain and suffering, when Jesus related with me, and Jesus shared my pain and suffering. Yeah, but amidst all this, it's peace. Peace knowing that someone understands how I feel. Someone in the world understands how I feel. Yeah, when me and Julian meet, and we're like, exactly how I feel. Why is there such an outburst of emotion? Because we didn't expect it. We haven't been, we haven't found someone to share that close bond and relationship with. We haven't found that special person that can understand our heart. Exactly, Julian, I love to travel like this. Exactly, Jesus. I understand you like this and you understand me like this. Finally, someone understands my pain. Sometimes I tell my family and my friends about my crazy ideas, but they, they roll their eyes and they say like, eh, okay. And But when I speak to the person who can finally understand, wow, sparks fly, right? No one understands how I feel, my weird antiques of travelling, and no one understands how I struggle at times. That's when Jesus on the cross understands how I struggle. I relate to you, Jesus. Yeah, this peace He gives us when we bring to Him our suffering, unite our suffering to Him on the cross. That's what the cross means for us, right? How we can make sense of the cross on Good Friday. But not just Good Friday, but every other day. And peace within suffering? Peace looking at suffering? I think that is the correlation between grace and suffering. Yeah, when things get overwhelming, when things get hard, just know that you're living a full Christian life, which what St. Jose Maria says, right? Surrounded by crosses. Just like how Jesus did it. When Jesus was at the peak of his mission, the peak of his struggle, when, while Jesus was at the peak of his suffering, carrying the cross on the way to Golgotha to be crucified, that was when he received the greatest grace from God, at the peak of his journey, the ultimate part of his journey. Grace, right? Grace from God. But 
in his moment of grace, in his greatest moment of triumph, what was happening? He was suffering. That is the correlation between grace and suffering. Illogical, right? Grace and suffering. But logical is what the world offers. Illogical is what God offers. Peace that is illogical. Yeah, and I look back at my struggles, I, I don't regret any of them. And I feel that in those times when we united with God, that's the best when we can see what it means. The meaning of the suffering, right? What is the meaning of Christ's cross? We always ask. What is the meaning of our suffering? Unite it to His cross and maybe we will see. Yeah, Christ's death conquers all fear. When we no longer see that death is the end, Jesus resurrected, we can go to heaven, then sacrifice no longer eats into our soul, into our hearts, it will live forever. Then we will not be struggling to sacrifice because we know that there is the resurrection from the cross, from the suffering that we are facing. Yeah, I didn't go to religion to make me happy. I always knew a bottle of pot would do that, says C.S. Lewis. If you want a religion to make you feel comfortable, I wouldn't go to Christianity, says C.S. Lewis. Yeah, and Pope John Paul II always go to the sick and go to the poor to ask them, for prayers for the church, prayers for his intention because these people had a special place in God's heart. There are people who are suffering, who choose to pray, the birds are chirping, who choose to love God, who choose to look past the suffering and to pray. This is what pleases the heart of God. Or at least I feel, or at least, right? God won't turn his face away from you when you are suffering, when you pray when you are suffering, when you still praise him when you are suffering. So, yeah, I got a train to catch at 7pm, it's about 5 now, on my way back to Munich to meet Gabriel. Um, yeah, I'll see you and have a blessed week ahead.